वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास रूम दिस इज जस्ट इन टूडे आई एम गो टू टॉक अबाउट रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस यूज टू फाइंड आउट द प्रिडिक्टिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरियबल एंड डिपेंडेंट वेरियबल सो यूजली इन कोरिलेशन डिजाइन दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज टू स्टेटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस इंस्टेड ऑफ द टर्म इंडिपेंडेंट वेरियबल जनरली वी यूज प्रिडिक्टर वेरियबल एंड फॉर द टर्म डिपेंडेंट वेरियबल वी जनरली यूज क्राइटेरियन वेरियबल सो द आइडिया हेयर इज टू प्रिडिक्ट द डिपेंड वेरियबल फ्रॉम द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरियबल दट इज स्टाटिस्टिकली टू प्रिडिक्ट सो इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइकोलॉजी वॉट वी डू विद रिग्रेशन analysis is the statistical property that we have now that is a predictive relationship that statistical property will be converted in a qualitative way and try to find out a uh, or assume a cause and effect relationship so remember that cause and effect relationship cannot be established with the regression it has to be established with the um, experimental design but here uh, there's a tendency to assume that this predictive relationship could be an indicator of a cause and effect relationship we'll see what is the exactly the concept of it so we have a data now consider x and y ignore y1 for some time so you have x you have y let y be the dependent variable and x the independent variable so what kind of relationship you can uh, find out between these two data you have x and y uh, how x and y can, is connected so if you remember your old school days stat um, statistics you may uh, you may be able to connect x and y something like this y equal to 2x plus 1 see that um 2 in 1 into 2 plus 1 3 2 into 2 plus 1 5 like that so entire y can be predicted from x so if you have an equation like this see that if you have an equation like this you can predict any value of y using the values of x for example what if the value of x is 6 what would be the score of y so y would be 2 into 6 plus 1 so it's a uh, 12 plus 1 13 like that so it's a predictive relationship between two variables so uh, what is the benefit of uh, getting a value like that you can uh, find out any value in between also you don't need to really have a value beyond it what if you want to find out uh, what would the score of y if the x value is 2.5 you can use a equation like this and now look into this equation hope you remember the equation of a straight line equation of a straight line is y is equal to a x plus b this is a equation of straight line now look at this pattern these two things are same that means i am using a property of a st straight line and trying to predict a variable a score out of it so that means this two values x and y is forming a straight line relationship let us plot a data to understand how the straight line data looks like so we have 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 somewhere here uh, 2 and 5 2 and 5 and 3 and 7 3 and 7 uh 4 and 9 4 and 9 uh 5 and 11 5 and 11 something like that so if you connect this line like this you get a pattern like this what if you want to find out uh 2.5 uh if x value is 2.5 what would be the score of y so what i do is i'll find out a 2.5 in the x and i try to connect it here and try to see what would be the score here like that i can find out what would be the score of uh, y and even if you need to project it you can use that one okay now that's a um, basic regression line a line and its property so what i'm focusing here is a um, linear regression method okay so that means a straight line pattern that we try to establish now what are the components of this you have a component here a and component here b so in the first example it is 2x plus 1 so we have calculated 2 here and we have a score instead of b 1 so what do they represent this a is called as regression coefficient and uh, this also known as beta and um, the b this value is called as um, regression constant or we called as the origin so origin means when x value 0 this is x value 0 what would be the score of y from where this line starts that that's a indicator of the origin so other uh, in statistically other terms that we use uh, for the regression coefficient and the regression constant are regression coefficient is called as slope it means the slope of the line okay and otherwise we call it as intercept so intercept means the point where the the line cut in intercept the 
y axis so this is another terms that we used to uh, you know like explain uh, the term uh, r i'm sorry the regression coefficient and the regression constant what's the what's the use of these two concepts so let us say regression coefficient regression coefficient is indicating how much the predictor variable has a capacity to predict the dependent variable so how much it is contributing uh, in predicting the dependent variable for example let us use another term here y dash you have another variable y dash okay now try to plot this y dash so y dash is 1 and 5 so 1 and 5 is the first point and 5 and 9 is the second point I'm sorry, 2 and uh, 9 second point, 2 and 9 here, and uh, 3 and 13, 3 and 13 somewhere here, and 4 and 17, 4 and 17, 5 and 21, 5 and 21, something like this. Now try to plot the line like this, it will go like this. So this is a y and this y1, y dash, like that. So there's a difference between these two lines. Okay, now the slope of this line is lesser than the slope of this line. Okay, now how does it reflect it in the equation? Now, if you try to find out the relationship between x and y dash, so y dash equation would look like this x y is y dash equal to 4x plus 1. That means one unit change in x creates four unit change in the y. See that? One unit change in the x creates four unit change in the y. Here, one unit change in the x makes two unit change in the y so this is the slope this particular a or two or four the slope indicate how much contribution your independent variable has on the dependent variable so when i say contribution please don't think that it's a cause and effect relationship it's basically predicting when you predict the dependent variable how much your independent variable uh, contribute to that one so that's the indicator of uh, the regression co coefficient uh, that is beta and other one is regression constant so what is the in co the implication of this constant value that means origin value or the intercept so this tells me the one tells me how what is the the score of y when independent variable is zero that means let us say i need to predict the happiness uh, from income okay now x is income y is happiness what if the person doesn't have any income so can we say that the happiness also will be zero no the, the person may have some other source for income now that particular factor is the uh, constant that means if your independent variable is zero what is the score of the dependent variable so this has its uh, important value. So when you do this statistically, when you do uh, this regression using SPSS, what if your uh, you know like uh, regression constant is significant? So that tells you that tell that that's giving a reflection that more than your independent variable, your uh, there are so many other models also or variables also has to be included to complete the uh, variable happiness. See that so this is a very interesting kind of concept okay now so uh, what do we do in a regression analysis that means this is a con these are the concept of regression coefficient okay um, regression analysis and how do we do or what do we do in a research condition so we don't generally won't get a a very clear-cut pattern like this that means a straight line relationship you may not get all the time so what we do in a real uh, research condition is you may have a data for example you may have a data like this and maybe data may look like this scatter plot you have x here you have y here and what i would try to do is i'll try to fit a straight line and how much it fit like a straight line or how much it looks like a straight line that is an indicator of uh, the regression analysis that's the first point in which we can start working with regression analysis so if you get a straight line i can use the equation of a straight line to predict the dependent variable so the first task is to see whether there is a straight line can be used or not so what's the statistical method to understand whether linear relationship straight line linear relationship exists between two two data generally we use r value right uh, correlation Carl Pearson product moment correlation coefficient but in when you use regress, uh, regression analysis uh, let us say if you are using a uh, simple regression that means one predictor variable one criterion variable you can go for a simple uh, usual Pearson R what if you are using a multiple regression analysis that means you have multiple independent variable you have to use a multiple correlation Pearson multiple correlation and we use a square of it okay so R square see so r square is indicator whether a straight line is formed or not okay so this r square value is called as coefficient of 
डिटर्मिनेशन सो द फर्स्ट टास्क इज टू फाइंड आउट द आर स्कोर वैल्यू and see whether a straight line can be formed or not so how do you interpret r square value for example you have a value of 0.14 r square value the way we explain this is multiplied by 100 14 percentage of the changes in the dependent variable criterion variable can be explained from the changes in the independent variable so this is how we explain it that that means there is 14 percentage of covariance common variance exist between uh, your predictor variable and your criterion variable see that so you have a uh, r square value here now r square value scores are range since the square value uh, it it will be a positive value and it is ranging from 0 to 1 okay now um, this r square value has to be tested to see whether it's significant or not okay if you remember the multiple correlation video i have explained how it has it has to be tested using a f value so that means the r square value has to be tested with a f value okay so this is the first part so i try to find out whether a straight line relationship can be established with this or not now second part one straight line relationship is established so that means i could find out a relationship with is linear relationship between independent variable and dependent variable now my task is to see what's the slope of it okay now if slope is very low that means there is no relationship between the variable or if slope is very high that means independent variable has a low to contribute to the dependent variable okay now something like this okay now slope has to be calculated so slope is represented with the regression coefficient or beta like that so there are different terms for this beta the primary beta value that we the, that we calculate that means the basic slope of the regression line this is called as unstandardized beta i'm using a symbol b here to represent it originally we used this beta because to represent some other value i'm going to use this beta so here b unstandardized beta or b okay now uh, the problem with this b is b can range from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity okay now it could be any value uh, so uh, generally this how we explain it uh, the beta value is independent of the origin origin means the starting point whatever may be the starting point the beta value can be uh, irrespective of the starting point beta value can be uh, calculated or can be stable so uh, but if beta value is not uh, um, independent of scale that means for example in stats psychological research the application would be something like um, if you have a, a variable which is measured in a uh, three point scale and if you have a variable same variable is uh, measured in a 10 point scale that means same questioner itself the items are measured in two three point scale and a 10 point scale the scores will differ right the highest point in the three point scale questioner would be smaller compared to a 10 point scale questioner now uh, if you try to find out the relationship between uh, the uh, the variable and the dependent variable so you have variable in three point scale pattern and 10 point scale pattern so if you try to find out the relationship between these two variables the 10 point scale pat variable will have a higher level of beta value compared to the other variable the three point scale pattern so that is called as um, the this scale of the uh, variable influence the uh, regression um, uh, coefficient that is beta now uh, that is not ideally correct for example you have multiple independent variable when you do a research and one variable is measured in one scale another variable is measured in another scale so that scaling pattern if it influence you can make a good judgment in that condition so for that that what we do is we convert this value to a standardized beta so i'm using standardized beta and this standardized beta is represented with a symbol beta okay now this standardized beta can be calculated with the equation like unstandardized beta i'm using b so standardized beta equal to unstandardized beta into standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y okay now you can calculate this one and beta value also has to be tested that means beta will calculate and we test it with a t test so this is basically the regression analysis you have r square value you will test it with the f value you have beta value you will test it with the t value so how many beta uh, how many regression lines would be there when you make a, a basic uh, regression analysis that means look at this graph itself come back to this graph itself so when you have a data like this a graphical presentation like this um, you will have two regression lines 
with two independent variables two variables so one regression line would be to predict the dependent variable uh, with the least amount of error we say least error uh, least squared error so least amount of error uh, to predict y that's a one regression line another regression line will be for for the benefit of predicting x with the least amount of error that means one regression line for y another regression for line for x so when you try to find out relationship between variable x and variable y you will have two regression lines okay and the the sign of the regression lines will be always same that means sign means uh, the positive or negative like that so you will have if one regression line is minus another regression line also will be minus and if it is uh, one is plus another also will be plus okay now so you have two regression lines and these two regression lines are represented with a symbol um, b x y so one regression line so if you want to predict see if you want to predict x from y that regression line is called as b x y it's not a line it's a slope of it and uh, the other one is b y x that means a regression line to predict uh, y from x okay now if you find a geometrical uh, mean of these two things you will get pearson r see that so this was one of the question asked in the last net exam um, that this r pearson r is a geometrical mean of uh, two regression slopes so this is the concept all about and uh, what if uh, when r value is 1 that means when r value is 1 these two lines will superimpose on another one that means this will become in a straight line one line itself so you cannot identify which is uh, uh, x line and which is y line and what if uh, the correlation is 0 that means line is completely scattered for example you score have a score like this the lines are like uh, you have a zero correlation pattern scattered uh, uh, a graph and here it will go like this one is uh, go x equation uh, and y equation like this so it will be perpendicular to each other so when the correlation become perfect correlation it will uh, will superimpose each other and you will get a single straight line so this is about regression analysis and uh, many questions can be asked on this condition for example you can maybe ask to calculate r value you may be asked to calculate beta values to standardized beta uh, and you can uh, see r square value like that uh, coefficient of determination like that many questions can be asked in this uh, context or you, you may be uh, maybe also may be asked to calculate this uh, value for example you have this value and this value is given this value is given you may be asked to calculate this value or it is not necessary to calculate for, uh, the r or regression coefficient from this course itself for example i will introduce one more smaller equation for example you want to calculate uh, regression coefficient of um, equation of x so i would say equation of um, x equal to r into regression of standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y like this so this is also possible you can find out an equation in this pattern also so this is another way in which you can find out the um, um, beta value using um, standard deviation scores and r scores so there are different ways in which um, this can be calculated um, and many questions can be asked on this context so i'm going to stop it here and this is the first part for regression analysis i'll take another part as a second part uh, that would be about the assumptions of regression analysis that will take little time so that's why i'm going to split the the class into two different classes okay that's it see you in the next class bye from my classroom